Yeah, there's no question. I mean, obviously, Carl Anthony Towns carried the load for them, but they have a number of guys who can step up in big moments for them. I think everybody expected a show against Angola. Ended up being a little bit of a grind game for them. The biggest thing, they just didn't knock their threes down. Trying to do that pick and roll with Delgado. Well, Fleas makes a beautiful dive. He turns it over. Now the Italians have numbers. Tony makes one pass, finds Polinari again. An easy transition there by the Azzurri. Well, mainly over helping on the defense. The Republic turning it over yet again. Now it's a three on one. Polinari trying to go all the way. Bit of contact, doesn't get the foul, but he scores that one again. Oh, no question. And, you know, I, I think Italy has done a nice job so far of really denying those entry passes. To him. Well, Fontecchio going straight to the lane. Four around him. He's really not going to have driving lanes like he did in the. Stefano Tote, excuse me, now pumps this one down to Melli. He's in a little teardrop. Can't get him with the follow up. Well, Kile Polinara. Well, he is hungry right now, coach. He speaks to you now. Pick a pop here with Melli. Pump face, draws the contact, turns around. <laughs> Everything just dropping here. We like to call this in Boca Lupo in Italiano. That's Tony to his left, but again, he has to slow down the Dominicans. Just preventing another Italian transition. Well, Spisu all the way. No help side defense at the moment. The Dominican Republic. That anybody wants to see, you know, Spisu able to get all the way from the perimeter to the rim. You never want to see that. I'm going to take a roll here. Town setting the bull screen. He's finding an open. Much better. Goes in. Counted. Gets the M1. That's a much better start there. Well, Tony using the double pick from Delgado. Trying to find the opening with Carl Anthony Towns. Another kick out. Feliz wide open. Three is up. Three is good. And all of a sudden, the Dominican Republic. A bit of congestion in the Dominican offense. And he's under pressure. Gets rejected. And great defense by Nicolo Mele. Slowly, we're able to find ways to dissect the defense down. There was the well, Katz misses last few attempts. Nowhere to go here. The Italians help side defense. But a technical foul is going to be called against Gianmarco Bazzacco. And it counts. This should be a bitch mass now. Trying to bully his way to the basket. Solid post move looking like an Italian. Kevin McHale with that move. Oh, just with the big rejection. Well, this is a beautiful, I mean, that's textbook post play there for Richie. Well, Vargas takes the gamble, kicks out to Richie. Got it by Colin Anthony Town. Step back, three pointer. And six out right in the face of Cat. Back to an eight point deficit. Cat still trying to break the defense down. Dominican Republic struggling from the perimeter. Cat Montero settle this down, takes another one. And now we have five for five here for the perimeter. Really getting a handoff now. Spaniolo pulls up in the mid range, takes it 15 feet and just from somehow gets a drop on that one. Nice little play there by Spaniolo. All the bigs for Italy. I think they're really dialed in on his perimeter game here. He used to probably look to change it up. Gigi killing the screen again. Simply Signore Automatico from the mid-range. Looking for an opening. Goes in, just gets the ball ripped out of his hands by Montero. Looks like taking candy from a baby. Another kick out. Feliz, can he get the three? Three is up. Three is good from downtown. Finds Figueroa. Looking for the penetration. Get a look at the corner. Three is up. And again, it's rated three pointers. Boy, you got to ask the question in Spanish. KTM Boase. Titans lead now. Cut down to two points. Joey in the lane. Composure puts up the floater. And then finishes that one with ease. This three point input has been so good so far. Montero kicks out the police again. Can he make it three in a row? Are you kidding me? But right now, the Dominican Republic just putting on a showcase right now. You're gonna have to play more as a team. You see better ball movement, guys sharing it, finding cutters like we just saw there. Well, rejection time by Melly. Four times this beautiful country is featured here at the 2023 FIBA Massa World Cup. Gigi with a step back in the mid range. And again, Signore Automatico. Time is looking to extend that lead. Going down the middle and again, one more time. Signore Automatico, six points off for the mid range. Try to exploit his size down low. Solano finding Cat. Cat going in the lane. Count it, gets his at one. Montero here in the backcourt. He's that ball screen, goes right to the basket. Again, finishes the lamp, and now it is a three point ball game for the Dominican Republic. And that's one of the trade offs. You know, you've got shooters on the floor, a little less accustomed to crashing from those perimeter spots. Hey. Dominican 
the Republic half of the Italians in the penalty, but it doesn't matter against Fontecchio. It's good to see him back. Remember, he had that shoulder injury against the, the Philippines, which we were, I was quite concerned it might have been a dislocation, but again, it's fantastic. The backdoor play goes up and speak of the superstar. Montero shifting, shaking, faking. Doesn't get it, but again, Montero is wide open there. Deep three by Cat. That's a big time three pointer. Four three point field goal so far. Carl Anthony Towns. There's another man who likes to shoot for the perimeter there now. Marcus Spisu responded down the other end. Still coming here away from the basket. Nowhere to go. Kicks out of Feliz. This baseline goes up and again finishes under pressure. Have trailed only one point. Remember, they led by 12 in the first few moments of the first quarter. Montecchio baseline shift goes up and again. He's a little throw down there by Simone. Polinara. Melee, Simone Fonsecchio. Sounds a about taking the three pointer. This time he does take it again. No problem for Cat. Between Gilas Filipinas, the Italians had a mini game against Angola. Cat just lost. Somebody call the principal coach. We have a bully on the court. Terror trying to use the ball screen. Back to a play, finds Lees. Kick out. Finds for Lees now. Pump fakes. Takes it. Big three. Got it. Big time three pointer. Zika Potion out. Stefano Tone, he tries to respond to that. Beautiful spot there by Stefano. Going to the big man. Putting a double team. Nice kick in the corner, finding Victor Lees. He takes a three, and again, it is a <laughs> And Nessa Garcia puts his hands up in the air. Goes back door again. Another kick out. Losing the corner, another three. Can't get it, but Delgado comes up. He gets fouled. And he's going to go back to the charity stripe. Could have a double digit lead if they get another three pointer. Thinks about it. Got it by Polinara. Mines for losing the corner. Another three pointer. Can't count it. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Time left in this game. We're just under halfway here in the third quarter. But right now you're seeing a lack of confidence from the Italians. Delgado off the pick and roll. And again, it's converted. Bucket here, special three pointer would be monumental. There's the penetration, the kick out, that's gonna be too short. Delgado offensive rebound, the putback is good. And now it's a 14 point ball game. Putting the defense in rotation. So many finding Vontecchio, he's gotta make this one. Steps up, big top three pointer. And Simone leading the Azuri. Dominican Republic need to keep the momentum going forward. The Italians just need to be collectively one unit to try and stay in this one. Montero finds Carl Anthony Towns. Cap with the three. Three is up and at the moment. Coach, make that three point at number 11. Montero, range off the backboard. Can't get it. Italians need to break it. Can he get something? Only down the middle. Finds the Nolan pass and throws it down with two hands. And that's a good transition play from the Azuri. So he now can cut this down to single digits. Montecchio, give it go with Richie. Goes in. That's just beautiful basketball. Been cut down to eight. He's six three points so far. Make it seven. Oh, he is looking like a Dominican Stephen Curry here in the moment. Well, I think he was doing the right thing. I think, you know, again, I think his arms just got a little too high there. Uh, you know, I think it's a good seal, though, otherwise. Signore Automatico, one more time. On your top of the key now. Vargas trying to seal off against Tatome. Now we're under 10. And he goes for a three-point. He'll put it up again. Nothing is going wrong for the Dominicans here from the three-point line. Two seconds down. Montero has to put up a little floater. And Vargas with a tip. And again, the Italians failing to box him out. And really going for a post up. That's a much better response there. Making most of the mismatch guided by Montero. Needs to be the key for the Dominican Republic. Yeah, I think they're they're really thinking about taking the air out of the ball right now. Well, the Italians had their last donut, but nobody cool box out. Seven here on the shot clock, Mendoza. Thinking about shooting something here. Has to pull up for Hail Mary three. And muchos gracias, Senor Mendoza. Cut out triple. A lot of frustration there for uh, for Tecchio. It is the Italians leading the scorer. And in the lane goes into the fang roll. An easy little finish there. Looking to go back door. Spisu kicks out to Melli. Down the middle. Goes in with a little dream hook. And again, a nice little finish there by Nicolo Melli. Down the middle. Kicking this one out. 
Good defense by Spisu. That numbers it. Spisu goes behind the back, finds Tonin. That's a beautiful transition. Nice response from the Azuri. Montero now with the ball in his hands. 14 points of difference. Goes for another three. Three is up. Three is good. Well, KO to S. Well, it's his time right now here at the FIBA World Cup. Making it now a 16 point ball game. Nice move by Richie inside the paint. Finds Montero. It's got to be quick from the half court. Almost got it. Would be surprised if he did win it. Species got to think about taking a three pointer. Finds Richie. Richie takes a three. Three is up. Three is good. But the Azuri. Cutting it down to single digits. Operation hang on now for the Dominicans. Richie now coming up with the interception. Finds Polinara. But Polinara turns it over. And again, uh, something out of nothing there for Victor Lee. Very unfortunate for the Italians. This piece pulls up for a quick three. Got it! Well, he's going to the free throw line here for the four point play. He's not fouling right away here. Finds Andreas Feliz, seven three-pointers. Doesn't get it, Polinara finds the ball. The Italian's got to be quick. Just wait for them to get the ball to the half court. Uh, I think they're definitely going to trap without fouling here. Well, good defense, Polinara. Well, they have to be quick, of course. Time not on their side. Spisu now, nowhere to go, and it gets fouled. Well, that's going to be two free throws coming up for Marcus Spisu. There's the Republic, but it almost looks like it's become Operation Hang On. Yeah, no question, and you know, press breaker and ball handler. Well, makes both free throws, three-point ball game. Finding Quinones, Quinones caught, he's fouled. That will be two free throws coming up. Well, you see this man in the NBA G League, free throws so impeccable now for him. Got the first one. That's why he was in the game. Quinones, another chance hit. Spicer would definitely feel hot done by that position. Makes a second one. But well, we gotta be quick. Richie now, fadeaway three-pointer. Doesn't get it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Dominican Republic gonna leave with the victory. 87 to 82 here in game day two in this group eight picture of the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup.